welcome to my small little beautiful paradise in Tulum, in the jungles of Tulum. We are still, um, you know, in a building stage, but I wanted to show you guys our two first cabins. Come along. Bienvenidos amigos, estamos en Tulum, como ya saben, hemos estado haciendo aquí un proyectito. Nos eh, vamos de Miami a Tulum a hacer un paraíso energético. Y quiero mostrarles las primeras dos cabañas. Como saben, el lugar es clothing optional, o sea que obviamente pues está en bikini porque esto es para YouTube. Si lo quieren ver al natural, saben que pueden ver en Miami. Y bienvenidos a nuestra familia número uno. Welcome to our number one cabin. First cabin and all the cabins are actually going to be smart. So that means no clothing, no problem, no keys, just fingerprints. Magic. Magia. Es que sin ropa, sin llaves, sin nada, pues con el dedito. Bienvenidos. This is our first little baby. And it's all 100% wood. Esto 100% madera, 40 years, imagine we're in the jungle, so you can imagine uh, 40 years warranty for the cabins. They're also for sale, so if you do come here and you love it so much and you want to move here, let's turn on some lights. You can. Let's turn on some lights over here. And the best thing, which I think why people say that this is a luxury place uh, in the jungle is because we have AC <laughs> and we have the perfect area to relax and of course Wi-Fi we are in the jungle so the Wi-Fi is not going to be like crazy great but so far you know what it's been very good so uh, I've seen a lot of people just chill out and at night and just watch Netflix so it's amazing uh, let me show you the room the kitchen the kitchen has everything from your freezer oh you even get some ice <laughs> now that I know it's there, I'm going to use it. Fridge, water, and to cook, you have your little stove over here. We have our plates and cups, wine, you want some wine as well. Estamos haciéndole todo el mini tour, ¿no? De cómo he armado la cabaña, porque si hablo alemán, la culpa está en mí. Tenemos aquí todos sus utensilios para que puedan cocinar, aunque mucha gente no, no viene aquí a cocinar, pero sí gustan cocinar. Adelante. Y por supuesto, cafetera en espresso. Tenía que estar. Of course, the espresso machine, you have to, if you're a coffee drinker. I'm not a coffee drinker, so, but I know you guys are, so. Our bathroom. Every cabin is going to have like a different feel decorating wise, but um, basically we're going for just high-end, clean, and eco-friendly if we can. <laughs> Alright guys, so bikes are included. So if you want to make a bike ride, right now I'm going to show you cabin number two. And I'm not going to bring the bike all the way up there, so we're going to park it. Muy bien, parqueamos porque pueden andar en bici. Y vamos a la cabaña número dos. This one has more like a Mexican feel. That's where I actually like the second one better. You always feel like the first is like an experiment and the second you do a little bit of changes. Like for me, I like having the outdoor booties. So it's important to open. Maybe not in the summer, but <laughs> during now, which is really, really nice weather, it's important to open and have them. Nice cold cool breeze coming, and everything that you see actually on the uh, like these, everything's also for sale. So if you wanted to take one home, you could. And with that one, same, exactly the same, just different decors. La número dos también está equipada de la misma forma. Lo único que cambia un poquito es la decoración. Tenemos nuestro cuarto con la cama king, que es súper importante. Eh, la mayoría de gente que ha llegado siempre dicen que 
una de las cosas que les puede hacer irse un poquito tristes del lugar es que las camas son muy pequeñas, así que no. Tiene una linda cama king. Super cool. I love king size beds, so I like to do things the way that I like to experience the moment there, so I hardly doubt there's anything missing, but if there is, let me know. <laughs> anyway, we're just starting, you guys, so I can't wait to have all of you visit us here in Tulum and me not kill the hat. <laughs> oh, we got some cookies. Oh, these got lucky. They got cookies. I'm gonna eat them. All right, I'm gonna show you the pool because, of course, what can you do here the whole day? We are really close by. Um, actually, our neighbors are a cenote park, so you can get picked up eight in the morning uh, or go there eight in the morning, do the new tours, or if you want regular tours, like the clothes, because, you know, new people apparently are not regular, so <laughs> we're special. <laughs> um, but if you want regular tours as well, you can have uh, them throughout the day and you get picked up in this really cool four by four. And then the bikes are really meant to take you through if you want to go to the cenotes or if you want to go to the beach. We are across the street from the beach. It's a private beach, Solomon Bay. Um, and I think the pool is our main attraction so far. Come on. All right, so we are headed to the pool. You have to wear shoes, you guys. You can't be barefoot here because it's still the jungle. It's very much the jungle, as you can see. So um, maybe later on, when, not if, when we do the roads, you'll have a nice, smooth pavement to walk barefoot. But so far, we want to respect the jungle. <laughs> bueno, amigos, vamos a la piscina. We've arrived to our juice bar. <laughs> um, no alcohol so far, you guys. It's just gonna be very much in a retreat sense since the place is actually made for spiritual retreats, specifically positive energy and tantric energy. So we have a nice juice bar here, but of course, if you wanna bring some booze, you're welcome to. <laughs> so uh, we're still decorating this and still finishing it. It's gonna have music all day. Um, fruits, as much as you want. I love fruits, so. I think that's why I picked the juice bar for now. Right next to our bar, we have our amazing yin yang pool. And this one is a duck. It's not a duck, it's a parrot. But literally, that was like a taxi. It just came to me. I, I called it and it came. See, it does that. El, el pajarraco viene si lo llamas. Honestamente, es la primera vez que lo entramos. Así que vamos a ver qué tal. Acá, esto es libre. Pueden estar y hacer lo que gusten. Ya veo que me mato. <laughs> No me quiero mojar el pelo. Ay, vamos bien, ok. Me falta hacer fotos, amigos, así que no me quiero mojar el pelo. Let's go. Oh, the water is actually very nice. So our water is cenote water. Um, and then we maintain it with salt. So it's a cenote slash salt water pool, which means that you can soak up all those minerals calcium, which is the water from cenote, is 99% calcium. And I'm go that way. <laughs> and you can sit on and lounge out in these amazing chairs that um, the reason why they're there is so you don't get too hot when you're tanning. Perfect for no tan lights. Perfecto para estar sin, sin rayitas de los trajes de baño. Esas sillitas que tenemos ahí, que todavía falta poner las otras, pero la idea es que Absorban también los minerales del agua de calcio que es de los cenotes. Esta agua es agua de cenote, 99% calcio y la mantenemos como agua de sal luego. Entonces tienen ahí una mezcla super natural para poder absorber todos sus minerales. All right, guys. So over here we're making like a little campfire area where we could chill out in the hammocks during the day or at night, and we are going towards our camping area now. This looks so magical at night. We have uh, some amazing volunteers that help put all these lights up. So it's really nice. Y aquí hay gente. <laughs> this is our chill out area where mainly our volunteers come hang out because it's where the Wi-Fi is. 
Because they don't know how to live in nature and they need Wi-Fi. Los que vienen acá necesitan Wi-Fi porque si no se van corriendo. No saben apreciar lo que es la selva. <laughs> Everything's very rustic. So, literally. We have the hammocks. And this is our hanging out area. Very colorful. I don't want to ruin their privacy. Están de novios. This is underneath uh, the stargazing dome, which I had up for people to rent, but now I'm just going to leave it for an experience. So if you guys want to come and you're renting the cabins and you want to stay there one night, you're more than welcome to. Esta es nuestra área de campamento. Donde estábamos recién es el área de descanso. Más que nada porque ahí está el internet, como dijimos. Y aquí, pues si están para lo rústico y les gusta acampar, del camping y nuestro camarógrafo de hoy justamente también es voluntario que ganó la carpa de atrás que es la más grande de todas como que dicen que no llora no mamá so they say if you don't cry you don't get what you want and our volunteer that's filming now uh, he got the, the tent all the way in the back let me show the bathrooms the bathrooms were like the first thing that we built here And we had a couple storms, so a lot of things did fly, but at least this is still intact. And we have the shower, we have toilets, and this is my favorite, which is like, because I did it, so of course it's my favorite. Look how cool! I stole the idea from a restaurant in Playa del Carmen, so it's not original. No es original mi idea, pero porque lo vi en un restaurante aquí. Pero me encanta la, que salga el agua de la, de la concha, está genial. Luego falta nuestro glamping. Vamos. Vamos rápido. Oh, no creo que se a verlo, ¿ves? Con la cola mm. larga. Es un quetzal. Un relojero, ¿no? Ah, no sé. Pero, porque parece un reloj. Okay. Cuidado con los agujeros porque hay muchos. Estos son los respiraderos de los cenotes. O sea, de que sí, efectivamente eh, tenemos por aquí varios cenotes, pero pues por el momento quedarán secretos. <laughs> We're going to keep our cenotes secret because we have so many breathing holes. You have to be very careful. And I always tell people, please walk where we made the pathway because you might just fall into a hole and. There's nobody around to get you, okay? <laughs> and this is our energy glamping tent for our energy session, which is later on, we're going to make a lava for this. Welcome to our glamping for our energy sessions. <sighs> How might I help you today? <laughs> so serious, right? Everything here is about positive energy, so there is no seriousness, there is just laughter and fun and smiles and positive energy so I hope to see you soon and of course stay positive always estén positivos nos vemos pronto y los espero en mi rizo de energía Yeah.